A power transformer is a crucial component in electrical engineering and power distribution systems. While primarily designed to efficiently transfer electrical energy between circuits, can be associated with both useful functions and potential hazards, such as explosions. The principle of a transformer is based on electromagnetic induction. Here's a simple explanation. Imagine you have two coils of wire, one connected to a power source which is the primary coil, and the other connected to a device you want to power, known as the secondary coil. When an alternating current flows through the primary coil, it creates a changing magnetic field around it. The constantly shifting polarity and strength of the magnetic field consistently disrupts the unbound electrons within a secondary coil, compelling them to shift positions. This movement is known as electromotive force, or EMF. As a result, electricity flows through the secondary coil, powering the device connected to it. This setup is basically a transformer. The ratio of turns in the primary and secondary windings determines the voltage transformation ratio of the transformer. If more turns in the secondary winding, compared to primary winding, it has a higher output voltage than the input voltage and is called step-up transformer. If less turns in the secondary winding it has a lower output voltage than the input voltage and is called step-down transformer. However, this setup is not efficient as a lot of magnetic fields from primary coil are being wasted because of the gap. To overcome this problem, a metal plate is used as a core. It's typically made of laminated steel sheets stacked together known as yoke and limbs. This core helps concentrate the magnetic field generated by the coils, making the transformer work efficiently. This is where coils sit in the single-phase type of transformer. For three-phase transformers, it typically consists of three sets of coils, one for each phase, arranged concentrically. The coil's layers are separated by insulation material to isolate coils from one another to prevent electrical breakdown. These windings can be connected in different configurations depending on the application, such as delta or star configurations. In a delta connection, the primary coils are connected in a closed loop in the shape of a triangle. Each winding is connected between two phases of the three-phase electrical system, forming a closed circuit. The delta connection is commonly used on the high-voltage side of the transformer in power distribution systems. In a star connection, one end of each secondary coil is connected at a common point, forming a star shape. The other ends of the windings are connected to the three phases of the electrical system. Therefore, for step-up transformer, we can draw in total of four output wires. Three phase power wires and one neutral. On top of it, there are transformer bushings, which serve as an interface between the internal coils of a transformer and external electrical connections. Low voltage bushings provide a connection point for the primary coils of the transformer to external electrical circuits. Meanwhile, high voltage bushings are designed to safely handle the high voltages present in the transformer's secondary coils. They provide a connection point for the high voltage winding to external electrical circuits. To ensure stability and alignment of transformer core and windings, the core frame is used to provide structural support. It is typically made of sturdy materials, such as steel or cast iron to withstand the mechanical stresses and forces experienced during transportation, installation, and operation. The transformer tank serves as an enclosure that houses the core, windings, and other internal components of the transformer. It provides protection from environmental factors such as moisture, dust, and contaminants, helping to ensure the reliable operation and longevity of the transformer.
The tank also serves as a reservoir for insulating oil, which helps to dissipate heat generated during operation. All of Transformers' internal parts are sealed with a top cover. The top cover is typically securely mounted to the transformer tank using bolts, clamps, or other fastening mechanisms. It forms a tight seal to prevent moisture ingress and maintain the integrity of the transformer's internal environment. A temperature gauge on a transformer is a monitoring device used to measure the temperature of various components within the transformer. The temperature gauge helps in early detection of overheating, allowing corrective actions to be taken before serious damage occurs. Down below, a transformer oil drain valve installed on the transformer's tank to facilitate the draining of oil from the transformer. Over time, transformer oil can degrade due to factors like heat, moisture, and contaminants. The drain valve provides a convenient way to remove the old or contaminated oil from the transformer. Mounted on the top of transformer, there is a conservator tank, which is commonly found in oil-filled transformers. Its primary function is to provide space for the expansion and contraction of the transformer oil due to temperature variations. Transformer oil expands and contracts with changes in temperature during normal operation. The conservator tank provides a reservoir of oil that can accommodate these volume changes without causing excessive pressure buildup within the transformer. The conservator tank is typically equipped with a breather or air vent at the top. This breather allows air to enter and exit the tank as the oil level changes, preventing the formation of a vacuum or overpressure condition inside the transformer. The Buchholz relay is a protective device used in oil fill transformers. The primary function of the Buchholz relay is to detect faults such as internal arcing, partial discharges, or insulation breakdown. These faults can generate gases such as hydrogen and methane which accumulate in the upper portion of the tank. The Buchholz relay is typically installed in the piping between the transformer's main tank and its conservator tank. As gases generated by internal faults accumulate in the relay, they cause the relay's float to rise. During certain internal faults, such as electrical arcing or insulation breakdown, gases may be generated within the transformer's oil insulation system. These gases can rapidly increase the internal pressure within the transformer tank, posing a risk of explosion. To prevent such explosions, explosion vents are installed on the transformer tank. These vents are designed to safely release excess pressure by opening when the internal pressure reaches a predetermined level. When the internal pressure exceeds the set threshold, the explosion vent bursts open, allowing the gases to escape rapidly to the surrounding environment. This prevents the pressure from building up further and reduces the risk of a catastrophic failure. Transformers generate heat due to electrical losses and magnetic flux during normal operation. This heat must be dissipated to prevent overheating, which can lead to insulation degradation and reduce transformer lifespan. The radiator facilitates the transfer of heat from the transformer oil to the surrounding air. The radiator is typically part of the transformer's cooling system, which may also include fans or natural convection. As the heated transformer oil flows through the radiator tubes or fins, it transfers heat to the metal surfaces, which, in turn, transfers it to the surrounding air. This process helps lower the temperature of the transformer oil and internal components. The control panel typically contains switches, buttons, and other control devices that allow operators to start, stop, and adjust the operation of the transformer. This may include features such as tap changes for adjusting voltage levels or cooling system controls. Transformer cables are electrical cables used to connect transformers to other components in an electrical system, such as power sources, distribution lines, or loads. Overall, 
Power transformers play a critical role in electrical power systems by facilitating efficient transmission and distribution of electricity, enabling electricity generated at power plants to reach consumers reliably and safely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. See you in the next video.